Friends, I was completely impressed by the recent Youth Sunday held here at First United Methodist Church, as the youth gave us one of the lessons learned during the pandemic. They chose to focus and remind us of the importance of gratitude for our faith and for our life. So when I ran across this poem by Naomi Shihab Nye, I said to myself, oh yes, gratitude. The poet writes, we forget about the spaciousness above the clouds, but it is there. The sun is up there also. When words we hear don't fit the day, when we worry about what we did or did not do, what if we close our eyes? Say any word we love that makes us feel calm. Slip it into the atmosphere and rise. Creamy miles of quiet, giant swoop of blue. It's true what the poet writes, isn't it? We sometimes forget. We forget to visit the spaciousness above the clouds, whether they are clouds of fussing or fretting, clouds of busyness or of boredom, clouds of longing or of loneliness. We forget. And in our forgetting, we diminish the possibility of quiet and we lose the power of calm. Another poet, Paula Gordon Lepp, offers this. Look at the silver lining, they say. But what if instead I pluck it off and I use that tinsel strand to bind myself to those things I don't want to lose sight of? Families, knit together by evening walks, board games, laughter. The filament fixing us to friends, no matter the distance apart. A braid of gratitude for small kindnesses. The thin gauge wire of loss. Let me twist that lining around my finger. Its silvery glint a reminder of just how quickly life can change. I will remember to love more. I will remember to give more. I will remember to be still. I will knot the string tightly so it won't slip away. So I won't forget. My friends, as the pandemic begins to ebb even a bit, and as things begin to open up, as we anticipate even the return to in-person worship in just a few weeks, with some precautions, of course, it seems a good time for each of us to find the silver lining to pluck it off and use its silvery glint to remind us how quickly life can change and to remind us of the lessons we've learned in the spaciousness of a life with God, a life which is always available, which is always there above whatever clouds may come our way. As St. Paul put it in his letter to the Christians in Rome, and as Eugene Peterson paraphrases it in the message, do you think anyone is going to be able to drive a wedge between us and Christ's love for us? There is no way. Not trouble, not hard times, not hatred, not hunger, not homelessness, not bullying threats, not backstabbing. I am absolutely convinced that nothing Nothing living or dead, angelic or demonic, today or tomorrow, high or low, thinkable or unthinkable. Absolutely nothing 
can get between us and God's love. Now that is a spaciousness in which we all can breathe and live and remember. Thanks be to God. Blessings. Amen.